Konnichiwa, me know this is Tisa Kerr, and you're watching PokeCast. Today on 10 Minute First Impressions video will be a Wii U game. That is Superhero Math. Today we all will be playing as a superhero, saving the world with math. Most likely, as always, as the justice would be. 10 minutes to play the game. First time playing the game, all version thereof. And we can't skip anything, for we might miss the evils of skipping. So let's get that hammer started. The hammer has been started, and first up is, are we a boy or girl? I don't think it really matters, so let's choose girl. Yay! We have chosen girl. And we are, um, flying very slowly. Oh, what happened? What a push. Um, oh, you using that thing again. We have got a coin! And we're frozen again. Yeah, let's have all the answers appear on why. Okay, this is getting annoying. Like, um, okay, those are some big numbers. Must be a really crappy superhero if I get frozen all the time. Hmm. Maybe this is why this game is on sale. Uh-huh. 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 We watch the adventures of Math Girl as she flies, avoiding all up. Oh, I can shoot things. Hmm, I feel stupid now. We, she will use her superpowers to blow things out of the air. And be frozen because her weakness is cold wind. I love how the guy says that, you know, he's just like 47 plus 10 equals. Like, it's like so formal. Okay. So if I can't blow this up, why do I have the ability to shoot? Oh, hey, I just died. What? How did I just die? Did he just bark? That's awesome. See, now here, here, here's a nice little thing right here. Okay, so 5 plus 9 gives you 14, right? Super easy right there. Okay, now, how do we deduct from the 4 right here, which are the answer? Okay, it's obviously not going to be A, which is 200 even. It's obviously not going to be X, which is 103. Now, what does that mean? Oh, oh let's see. Oh, it's right. So we carry the 1 over, making that 7 plus 9. Wait. Yeah, 7 plus 9. Brain just went. <laughs> and 
So we obviously know right there we're going to have in the hundreds. So 64, since it's lower than the uh, one that is being added to the larger number. So that one's definitely another question. So it has to be B. Ugh. Why do we even have lasers if we can't even kill things? 48 plus... 92. Okay, 2 plus 8. Hmm. They're making this easy. Try la 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 la. 45 plus... Okay, now, what? <sighs> Stupids! Seriously? Look at that! Only one answer has a 5 at the end. If you really, 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 really want to do... Why is there a 16? Really want to confuse the youngin, uh, or the person who's not very good at math, to learn better math, wouldn't the most obvious answers, all of them have a 5 at the end? That way they have to think, like, wait a minute. Of course, if they had it was a sixty. If it was a fifteen over a sixteen, that wouldn't help at all. But seriously, you only leave one answer with a five in the end of it, and you put a sixteen in there. And why am I collecting coins? I can't even use them. Oh, the coins actually increase my score. Okay. Holy crap! 174? And 163? Man, that has to be the answer. And 5! As I was saying before, 5 is lower than one of the, the higher number. And there's a copy 5, so hmm, it has to be B. Wow. It's like the uh, designers who made this game are stupid. Okay, so kids, what does this mean? Well, that's easy. Three's gonna be at the end, so that means that the only logical conclusion is gonna be B. We see the glorious travels and fighting of crime. Of Math Girl, who is an idiot. Okay, let's see this three. Another. It equals six. Look at that. It, 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 obviously, it equals six. So it equals six. I'm taking a picture, photo of this one real quick. There we go. Screenshot. I totally had to do that one. That was just amazing. Now, that'd be funny if the coin was right there on the answer, but it's not. Once again, kids, what does this mean? Look for the number that you first get with the first two numbers. Hmm. Oh, it answers it right there. Eleven, which means... Ugh. I feel stupid, seriously. I have had nothing to shoot at all this entire time. Okay. And then they still don't get it. Oh, yeah. If your first number is 73, obvious it's going to be A. I mean, come on. It's so obvious. Okay, so 5 plus 3 equals 8. What's the only one that has an 8? Wow, it actually moved. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, well, which one has a two on it? Come on, everybody knows this one. It's really hard. There's only one of them. Okay. Wow. Okay, now we're going to be looking for an 8. Which one has an 8? 
Wow, look, they actually got it right this time. There's two eights there, but, you know, it's obviously not going to be 88s. I mean, it'll just be, yeah. See, he's going around the thing, because he doesn't kill him, only kills me. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, so there's a five at the end. All right. Wait. Yep. Hmm. I can't see the five anywhere. And there goes the timer. Good. Lots of making me you. All right. Let's just um answer that one real quick. Okay. Now well, let's be honest. The game itself. Oh well, no wonder it's still made by the Skunk Company. You guys, are a bunch of. Ugh. So I think I'm just gonna put the poo symbol on all the games I've reviewed from these guys, except for the the Toddlers game because that one actually was fun. And then if if anybody hasn't realized, my I do theme my my pictures. Um, on the album art for a specific thing. And poo means that the game was not very fun. It sucked. You know, I really didn't like it. I might just use it for this one as well. Just because it's just like, oh my gosh. It's so slow. But. Uh, look at that. The guy. If you look at the girl, she's inside the um, background. The guy is going off of the background in two spots. They, like, forgot to draw that properly. What? That's hilarious. And look at the the bottom. The H and the I are literally conjoined twins. Uh, oh, that's just bad. Okay. So, to be honest, the best thing about this game is the music. And it's, it's, it really is. Let me look at it. It's all superhero math. Become a superhero. Fight crime with math. They get in there. And uh, we are flying the slowest speed possible. Now we have lasers and it's like, yes, I will blow things up with layers. And nothing happens. It's just like, okay, where to happen to all the aliens? Now that I've figured out how to shoot them, there's not a single one to shoot. Okay. Then comes to those fun questions. What's this plus this? It's obviously going to be a five at the end, but only one answer has a five. That's not teaching kids math. That's literally teaching kids how to deduct from the four answers you have, which one's obviously going to be the only answer that has it. Only, you know, maybe once the entire time do we have something with the exact same number at the end. I mean, it's okay to give them, give people similar answers. That way it doesn't ruin it. But you got to be consistent. You can't just sit there and go, oh, well, one plus one is... Anybody guess? There's a single two there. And then in all the, you know, like on some of the other ones, you had the thing where like... 95 plus 80 is what? And then you look over there. There's a 2. That's obviously not it. That's not teaching math. That's teaching, um... Deduction. You know. Elimination. And all that fun jazz. I mean, yes, it's giving good things, but... It felt... Like, all I was doing was playing the skate game from educational games. A educational pack of kids games. Nothing different except that it's just one themed right there. And we get to choose if we're a girl or a boy. That's it. Very little movement. And we stay alive. Ugh. I, I just don't know. It, 
it's no. I mean, I've played a lot of games because when I was growing up, and you know, when I was growing up in elementary and high school, junior high school, um, you know, computers were really just barely coming into being used in the, in the to help us teach things. So they would have us play all you kinds know, kinds of amazing games, but they were educational. They weren't dumb educational, and I feel like that, that this is a dumb educational. It's not. That actually teaches us how we're supposed to do it, but it teaches it in the wrong way. I think that's the best way to describe it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'd actually recommend this at all. Huh. Okay, I'd recommend it for the music. The music was good. Thank you, Kevin MacLeod. I, th- I guess MacLeod? Uh, Leod? MacLeod, your music was good, and you were the only reason why I enjoyed the game. Thank you very much. Other than that, I was just like, yeah. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this thrilling episode of PokeCast. Ten minute first impressions. This is Tisa Kerr saying ciao and sayonara.